Good morning. We're at the Cross Mountain Highway 91 trailhead in the little parking lot over there across from us is a group of Boy Scouts getting ready to go out for an overnighter and we're heading south. You can see the sun coming up over that way. We're going this way. Again, we're going to check after we go about 100 yards, but we're pretty sure today this is the right way. We got 16 to go today. We're going to go back to Watauga Lake at Wilbur Dam Road where we parked last night and slept. It was pretty pretty quiet there. We had a few cars came by, but it was fairly secluded. And then today, we'll drive back up here in that parking lot over there. We'll be able to get our two vans in there, and it should be fair, fairly secure over here. So it's probably right around 34, 35 degrees this morning. No wind. It's supposed to get up to mid-50s. So we're looking forward to a great hike. All right, so we're walking up a little incline and happened to look over to the side and we noticed what looked like a chimney, but as we got closer, it's actually a grave marker. I guess this is a little mausoleum here for Uncle Nick Grindstaff, born in 1851, passed away in 1923. I don't know what that says down there. It's kind of hard to read. I didn't look up at it ahead of time. Looks like something about alone and died alone. Oh no, let me look at that. Um, oh, more. Born alone, suffered alone, and died alone. That's kind of kind of miserable to think about that that's pretty bad but down here is somebody else's a vault down here and it, i can't read the names but it says 1925 so maybe he didn't get buried alone thank god he's got company in the ever laughter ever after all right we're roughly halfway through the day's hike on about eight miles and uh i should have stopped earlier but right there i don't know if you can tell but there's a little lake out there that's the watauga lake that we uh we walked across the dam that's actually the dam right in there we crossed it yesterday and uh that's basically where our destination is for the day and uh so it's been great it's about 50 degrees now slight breeze and uh we stopped for lunch snack whatever you want to call it we're kind of breaking it up into thirds today uh about an hour ago and we're probably going to stop in another hour and a half have our last piece of pizza and some snacks and uh yeah beautiful day out here today we've been walking on this ridge some ups and downs but we've had a view of that mountain range out there the whole day it's been out there to our left you can't see very well through all the trees but we know it's out there and so i guess i better go catch up to odie All right, so out in the distance there on the left side of that, well, the right side of this tree, but the left side of the screen is a body of water. And then down here is another body of water. And I think those are the ones that I was pointing at earlier. However, they are not the end of the lake that we walked across the dam. So uh, I think it must be way up there around the bend, but we'll get there. All right, so a late afternoon update. We're about three-fourths of the way. We've done about 12, 12, almost 12 miles. We got about four point something to go. We're here at Van Deventer Shelter for a slice of pizza and some snacks. And uh, uh, my girlfriend Tracy calls this Vanda Whatever Shelter. She sent the forecast to it last night for here. It's just a your basic shelter. They do have a tarp up here though that keeps the wind out. Well, our friend, our friend Guam that we've met, that's his stuff over there. He went to go get water, apparently, and we've been here for 25 minutes, but I th we think the water is a tenth of a mile up the trail, and then you got to go three-tenths of a mile down a steep hill. So we're going to go up the trail to where the Blue Blaze is and see if we meet him up there so we can keep on moving. But it's been pretty good today. The uh, been 
just ups and downs, no steep hills. And uh, day 19 for us and fall number one for me. I uh, was pushing a rock out of the way and didn't get the rock out of the way. And I took another couple steps to tell Odie what I didn't get done. And another rock just reached up and grabbed my toe and threw me down. So nothing hurt, nothing scraped up, just a little bruised pride.